Hello everyone, uh, hopefully you are doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize your test report correctly uh, when you're running um, your test based on multiple devices in parallel. So just come back to our previous test report and uh, take a look what is the problem. So the problem is uh, when you run your test script, on two devices and you got four bytes here but when you open it you just see something like you're logged in successfully or unsuccessfully the test name but you don't know uh, which one for which device uh, if you look at here you can distinguish it but i want to group them uh, correctly and then you open the report you can see something clearly okay so how to do that you come back to your test script here and in this case let me adjust something so here is the is the account function and i want to input some more additional information to the the source here so what i do that i'm going to use the string literal here you see it's a different side here it's not single code anymore because i'm going to use the string literal so inside let me let me uh input from a global variable from a browser dot capability here and i want to use the device name from the capability where if you open the parallel uh, running tech configuration you can see something device name here and i want to use it Okay, I want to use it like uh, emulator and Samsung J7 here. And when it's run, I you have something like account function for uh, the device name. So that's when I execute and I have the test report. I you have the a clear test report group by device name. That's it. So the first thing. You need to start your IBM server. The first IBM server you start on the box 7,000, uh, 6,000, you already knew it. And the second one will start on the IBM hyphen P7000. And then you come back to the execution terminal. You can open a, a new terminal and try to navigate to the source code directory and you can do the same. So in this, this case, I'm using WebStorm ID. So it have something like terminal. I can open multiple terminals window here. It's very convenient for me. NBM uh, test and the test configuration file here is parallel and I enter. So it few sense the capability to choose IPM server like before. Yep. And you will see the test is executed on post this device again. Is it already done for the real device? And we are almost there. Okay, just wait a little for the Tetris box to write it. Okay, the Tetris box is now generated. Just open your index.html again. And okay, it's because there's something from previous lesson it doesn't matter uh, so you see here we have a account function for Samsung J7 uh, and account function for emulator so if you open inside you can see that this is a account function test 
on the emulator and this is a call function test for Samsung J7. Okay, let me delete the report again. I don't know why it didn't delete for us. Just delete and then we run again. I want to see a perfect report. So this is sending to Appium server 1, server 2, and we send here about these devices. Just wait a little for the test executed. Okay, the test was executed successfully. We need to wait until the test report is already successfully. Here we go. We go back and we open the error report here and open the index.html. So you see now we have a four test case, a call function for Samsung uh, J7 to test case and for emulator to test case. And if you go to craft here, everything will be the same here. We have a two critical test case and we have a two normal test case here. And everything is now look good. You can open all of them here. You can still see the TMS uh, test case ID. Okay, everything look cool. So see you in the next lesson. I will show you how to run the test suits separately. So bye for now.